G'day folks, this is Beanie, and you're watching another Beanie Draws video. This video will be of me drawing with my trusty mechanical pencil. This, you can see over here probably, is a shadow cast from my webcam. But what I'm going to be doing today is I am going to be drawing a spade with the design of two swans. I saw a, um, a spade on a, a random um, stock art website and I saw like it was a, a tribal um a tribal spade but I saw um something else in that image. I see lots of things in other people's uh drawings sometimes and like for example this this one um it was a it looked like a bunch of leaves but what I saw in those leaves were two swans. So I'm going to try and draw what I see, and hopefully it'll come across. I have no idea how long this video will take. It might take a while. It might not take long at all. I just have to wait and see, I suppose. But what I'm doing is I'm putting in my rough shape of the spade. Um, uh, well, a spade is meant to like you know have that bit at the bottom, but um. To be honest, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this part yet. I I've, I usually don't have any idea what I'm going to do with the bottom part of the spade. The important thing that I'm going to be trying to draw in this one is the um, swans. So, I'm going to try and do that right now. I'm using my swirled, curved... Um, Strokes. I think I don't know if you can hear it. You might not be able to hear it, but um, my hard drive on my computer is getting quite loud. I should probably invest in an SSD. But that aside, um, see so the important thing is not drawing exactly, well, not not drawing exactly what you see in front of you if you want to come up with your own design. What I'm trying to do is use the lines of this tribal piece to inspire my new lines to invoke, I guess is the word, the illusion of some swans. Now, sometimes it is very hard to know what it's going to look like when you're working on it. Especially when you have no rough guidelines put in. So the reason why I do all these really tiny little strokes that you see is me roughing in wh where I want things to go. For example, that neck is not where I want it to go, so I'm moving it over here. I'm going to have to get myself a, um, because, like, this eraser, as you can see, very little eraser in there but um back when uh, back when this was a fresh new pencil and it had all its markings you can see how it's got nothing on the the barrel that um it was a fresh new pencil once and had a fresh new eraser which was really good it was nice and thin got into these areas really nicely um, I probably should also use a reference of a um of an actual swan so I know what the head of a swan looks like, but I am more or less just um going with the gut. Who knows this might be like this might look completely different to how I envisioned it. <laughs> this is what um meant to be the beak. It's little nose knob thing. It's our nostrils, I suppose. And we'll draw in its head. With this um, video, I don't really... I mean, you can use it as a tutorial lesson, I guess, but this is, again, just basically you can watch me drawing something. I don't know how terribly fascinating that may be, but... 
it's a good way to see how I go about making my art. And hopefully it might inspire some of you to do some of your own art. So we kind of got a neck of the swan in there. Let's put in a bit more of its wing. Uh, okay. I'm using the lines of the tribal to... it. The lines of the tribal that I see are very spiky. But there's a very distinct, solid um, shape of a swan in there. If I can remember the URL, I'll put a link to um, the original uh, the original illustration that um, inspired this one. So hopefully it won't, like, you'll see that it won't look the same. It's just inspired me to draw a swan. And that's actually how a lot of my, um... Apologies, oh. my, um, throat's getting a bit... You really don't want to cough up when you're drawing in the middle of the video. That's better. Just had to have a bit of a drink of water. So what we're doing here is um, I'm putting in its feathers for the wing. It's been a long time since I've studied um, birds, so I don't fully remember the technical term for these wing wing feathers. And I mean this this end of the the um swan is not gonna look like a, a swan. I mean it's meant to indicate a swan. It's not actually meant to be a swan. It's meant to be design, not um lifelike reality. Indicative, maybe is the word. Like um when people draw in um. Art Deco or minimalist um, cubism. When you when you're drawing things like Art Nouveau and Art Deco and constructivist and all those kinds of um, design styles and illustration styles, you're not actually going for a, a, a exact representation of an image. You're going for um, a vibe, I guess, a a feeling, a um, an illusion, an indication of the subject matter. Look at me, you trying to sound all artsy fartsy. <laughs> and already, this um, swan is not looking how I was originally inve in, um, envisioning it. But I don't mind; it actually looks okay. How how's it coming about right now? I don't know what I'm going to do with it to fill out this space, but um, I'll guess I'll figure that out when I get to it. Um, maybe I'll have like some water or something coming up from there, but I guess we'll see. Now I'm going to put in the other side of the swan to so get the idea of um. How it was meant to look? Hmm. I'm already getting another idea. Um. Hmm. I'm thinking this head might go here, and the head that was going to go here, I think that might go there. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to erase this head and see if I can make this drawing even better. And what I'll do is I'll do a really quick sketch of um, how the head looked, because I like that style. Do like so, and that gives me a rough idea of how it looked. Even though it looks like it kind of baby feet is at the moment. <laughs> there you go. Maybe if you want to know how to draw a swan head, draw a baby fetus, and that's how a swan head looks. No, this is not the best eraser. This is a um <laughs> another big pencil. 
I'm getting right, as you can see, I'm getting right to the end of this eraser. Uh, I really should just like invest in some whole bunch of proper erasers. Alright, so uh, I'll give it a bit of space for the mech. So what we'll do is we'll have the head coming through around here. Just to make it a bit of a romantic sort of uh, style, we'll have the heads interlocking to make a heart of some sort. See, sometimes I'll just draw and I will come up with an, a, a better idea in the middle of drawing something. So, that is what I'm doing right now. Which is also why it's not always good to be drawing really solid, thick lines in your pencil work, as, as you can see here, you leave some marks. So now what we'll do is we'll do the opposite of that head. Hopefully it gives the indication of a love heart, which makes this, I don't know, more special and romantic, I guess. But uh, yeah, but I guess that's a whole part of design and art is it's not always a guaranteed exact science that you're going to get what you thought at the end. Sometimes you get exactly what you thought you'd get in the end. Sometimes you get something even better. Sometimes you get something completely different. And sometimes you draw something and you're just like, no, I hate it. <laughs> that's why you just keep drawing. So I'm liking where these um, swans are going. This will be the difficult part though. I mean, you can easily just chop this in half and then flip this half over in Photoshop. But I'm going to do it all pencil and all traditional because I can't be bothered spending all that time scanning this in, then putting it into Photoshop just to flip it over. I mean, actually really granted it would take a lot less time than drawing it in manually, but I'm going to draw it in manually anyway, so there. <laughs> Alright. And also, it's like, I guess it's kind of like tattooists, they can't, um, they can't Photoshop, they can't, um, pull any shortcuts or tricks. I mean, sometimes they can pull some optical tricks, but I mean, if you want symmetry in a tattoo, you have to do symmetry in a tattoo. There's no getting around it. You have to copy exactly one side over to the other and hope that it mirrors as best as they can manage it. There's no getting around that because you can't Photoshop skin. And the reason, my, I'm not a tattooist at all. Um, I probably never will be a tattooist because my hand is too shaky. But... I like to think that my illustrations and designs have a very solid tattoo background or a very solid tattoo style and feel to them. I've been drawing in the tattoo style ever since I've been a kid. People always said that I should become a tattooist. But it's, you know, I'm, to be a tattooist, I find you have to be perfect. And I doubt that I would be perfect for being a tattooist, as you can tell from my rough drawing in, but that's okay. I like doing what I do, and hopefully after watching more of these videos and seeing the build-up collection of my illustrations, you'll agree that I've taken the right path or something like that. <laughs> but yes, this is me um, drawing in my the feathers, um, I can already see in my brain how I want to draw this um, later with ink. Might even do this in this video. Let's see, do I have the right pen with me? I do, it's a point two, that'll work. Okay, so, still don't know what I'm going to do here. Or up here for that matter. Hmm. 
So this is sometimes why I question myself as a designer, because sometimes it just doesn't come to me right away. This unexpectedly came to me. These bits came to me right away. This part and that part, however, I just don't know. Maybe I'll do a little love heart up there. So, yeah, let's draw a love heart. That'll work. Sometimes with design and illustrations in a tribal style or, you know, in a fancy style. That's just me changing my, um... Ah, my video is being weird now. I can't tell if it's actually cropped off or not at the top corner. But um, sometimes, even like music, I guess sometimes you you just don't know what to do with it as a section of it, which is why you put in some interesting design filler, like you put in music filler, I guess, fill fill tracks, fill drums. Chucking a guitar solo. Yeah, so, okay, this is, okay, this is going alright, I suppose. I'm just putting a bit of a tribal little um, curve thing. I am really fantastic with my descriptions, aren't I? <laughs> That's okay, I'm an artist. I don't describe with words, I describe with the actual, I describe with my lines. Art is my language. Okay. So, yeah, that's coming across alright. I'm liking that. Just don't know what I'm going to do there. Maybe, okay, maybe I'll do like this. Who knows, I might draw this again at some point when I've come up with a better idea of, um, Maybe I shouldn't have even focused too much on having it as such a pointy diamond shape. Maybe I should have just had the lines coming straight up there. Eh, who knows? I've done it now. No going back. Well, there is going back because I have an eraser, but... For the, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to keep it how it is. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's just put a diamond up there. A diamond in a spade. Because that works. That is a very loud hard drive. But that would also be because it's, it's recording. Well, while I'm recording this video, it's recording to the hard drive, so naturally it's going to be making noise. So. Yeah. <laughs> Um, hmm. Now, I still don't know what I'm going to do here. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I don't have to do anything there. Maybe. I'll have an upside down heart. Why not just do it like that, eh? <laughs> Until I figure out what I'm going to do with it, I am going to now quickly, or not so quickly, I know how this goes, draw in my line work for the um, ink. And when I um, do my ink line work. Um, I probably should do one continuous perfect line, but that's not how I roll. I'm doing it like this. And uh, so you can kind of see how my hand's a bit shaky. You would not want that as a you, you would not want a tattooist to be like that. I mean, I'm sure there's probably some herbal remedies to ease my nervous arm. I'm not even nervous, I'm quite calm right now, so 
It's just how my hand is. It's very annoying. I'm sure there's other artists out there who have to deal with a shaky, trembly hand. Doesn't make life nice, but you just adapt, I guess, around to, to it. And around here, what I'm doing is, uh, hang on, I'll, I'll try and do it like there so you can, my hand isn't covering what I'm working on. I am drawing the outline of the shape. If you can see that. And then I just fill in that shape so it gives the illusion of a tapered line. That's basically what you do in um, Adobe Illustrator, I think. So I'm doing the same thing manually by hand. Sometimes it's hard to get a perfect curve going on. And again, see, I, I made I made subtle little mistakes with my line work. You would not want that in a tattooist. I have I have come to terms with my um, realities of what I can and can't do as an artist. I I probably could have made a decent tattooist back in the day, but unfortunately, I know the realities of needing a steady hand. There's no um, working around that. Without a steady hand, you get shaky, shonky, crappy lines, and you do not want that in a tattooist. So... Let us do it like this. And fill in the the shape of around there. At least this is making for um more content for this channel. Hopefully people are interested in watching these videos. I mean I've seen um four views <laughs> on my other long ones so I mean this is just the beginning stage I'm sure people will, will will maybe eventually be interested in watching these videos but yeah that's also why I do condensed short versions so you know if you don't want to watch someone drawing for half an hour an hour you can just watch them draw for you know four minutes and, I mean, you don't get as much in-depth detail as what I'm saying right now. You don't get to hear all the different thought processes that go along in a half hour, hour long drawing, but you get a little bit, you get a little bit of idea and you get a condensed um, visual of your brain will watch the artwork being made and the brain will theoretically put the story together for you. When you watch something develop quickly, you see how it happens. And it's like, you know, watching time lapses of um, buildings being constructed. I mean, you don't know all the fine details of, you know, what goes on in a building construction, but you know that they put down the the foundations, you know that they put down the framework, you know they put down the cement and the glass work and all that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm actually really quite happy with this one. Still don't know what I'm going to do in there. Maybe I'll just do some generic random doodads.
Hmm. Maybe, I, oh, maybe I can put a wing under there. Like a tail wing. That might work, actually. Before I forget that, let me draw that in. Oh, I'm already getting another idea now for a um, another tribal um, um, thing. Another tribal um, spade. All right, so I came up with an idea finally for something to put in underneath here. So the spade can look like a spade. And then later on, at some point, oops. Hold on one moment. So, um, that's just no one coming in. Um, yeah, so I just lost my train of thought there. <laughs> but, oh, right, that's right, that's what I was going to do. I will, um, eventually I'll, just, I'll do a quick sketch of what I was going to do so then everyone else can see what will be coming from me soon. Put that's gonna be the tail. It's gonna be the wings. And then there'll be another wing. The wings will come together like a spade. Then we might have a neck in there. Oh yeah, that's actually going to be really awesome, I reckon. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. It's settled. <laughs> there you go, you, you have all seen a bit of an illustration come up very quickly in my brain, out of nowhere. So I'll do it like this, just to give you an idea of how it will look. I probably shouldn't even be filling it in this on on, on the actual original drawing that I've been working on. Oh well. So that is what I will be drawing at some point. This is what I will finish drawing now. And then I will call that the end of this video. So let's just get this element done with. Dun, 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 dun. This is me trying to not rush it along, but you know, trying to make this video shorter than it, so it doesn't have to be too long. Um, so, there's not really much else to say when you're, um, filling in lines. I suppose I could try and, um, think of something informative to talk about while drawing these lines in. So, as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm, um, before I was drawing the shapes of each line and then filling them in. Now, I'm just kind of gradually making my strokes thicker and thicker to give the illusion of a tapered line. I definitely think I can make this as a shirt, I think. I can definitely make two of, I reckon I can make two of these as a shirt. That will definitely go well as a shirt. And um I don't know. Maybe I'll put a link uh, an annotation or something that di that directs li that links directly to my um because I got a I've got a shop on Redbubble. 
Baynards, B-E-A-N-A-R-T-S. Shouldn't be too hard to find my stuff there. I've got a whole bunch of um, products on Redbubble, different t-shirts, mugs, doing covers, probably even, I, I just saw um, just before that they're, um, they've released um, pencil skirts. I don't know what I'm going to be, um, I don't know what I would do for a pencil skirt design, I can't really imagine, I suppose I just do patterns, but I've mainly been, do as you can see, my illustration style is mostly suited to t-shirt designs, I think, and fashion. Uh, and as you can see, that, uh, uh, this wing was looking different to the other wing. So... Do it like this. Well, I'm glad I figured out what to do down there. See, sometimes it doesn't come right away. Sometimes it takes a little, um... Sometimes it just takes think, uh, thinking about unrelated things, and then it'll just pop up in your head going, hmm, actually, I wonder if that would work. And then you try it out, you're like, okay, I don't mind that, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Which is what I did for this one. The other thing with the condensed versions of these videos is not only do you miss out on some of the thought processes, you also, you'll watch one of my videos and you'll be like, why is he suddenly drawing something else on the page? Why is he showing a pen to the camera? It's all those, it's all those little bits that you um that you miss out on hearing on a super long video. But I, I, I know it's like, I don't have huge amounts of time to watch 40 minute long videos, maybe some of you just, you know, scrub through these videos just to find the best bits, but, yeah, like I said, I, I, I just want to have this kind of content for people who might be interested, because it's stuff that I've wanted to see from my favourite artists, so, yeah. I know there's some fans out there who love my art, so this kind of stuff is for them. You know, for when you're bored and you want to draw something, and instead of listening to music, you'll listen to me chitter chatter. I know that not many people are going to be doing that, but it's something at least. I just like having this out there. I like having bits of me out on the internet for people to watch. And for me, a bit of a legacy to leave behind, I guess. So that... I'm... I'm well, no one lives forever. And I know one day my time will come, just like everyone else's. I shall return to the ground. That I came from. Well, I didn't come from the ground, but you know what I mean. But, um, you know, it's nice to leave behind memories other than, you know, VHS videos. I guess, I guess YouTube is today's, uh, today's, um, centuries videotapes. This is what we'll be watching back in decades to come, possibly. We'll be watching, instead of recording our videos and watching them back on TV from our camcorders, we will be recording them from our phones and from our webcams and watching them on YouTube. That, my friends, is the future. And back when I was doing a um, illustration, uh, no, it was like a multimedia course, they were talking about how, um, and this is like, this was like 2001, 2000, 
say this is like, like man, 15 years ago, damn, feels like yesterday, that um, they were saying that in the future, we'll be watching TV on the internet, we'll no longer be watching TV on um, traditional TVs, it'll be all on the internet, and this is back when it was like, you know, it was still dial-up, there, no, there was no such thing as um, ADSL, Downloading a three-minute Metallica song was like say if you wanted to download Enter Sandman, that would have been about three megabyte file. That would have taken half an hour, if not more, to download. Whereas nowadays, that would take a few seconds. Hence why now we are watching everything on the internet, like what you're doing right now. You're watching me draw on the internet. Isn't the future amazing? So I think this is putting in a few more little details, but I think that's nearly it for me for today. I've been productive. I've created. I've put something into this world, and hopefully people like what I've done. So if you do like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please comment on it. Um, I've I've been starting to read comments. Um, I don't know how to reply to them because they haven't given me any button to reply with. So, I see the comments. I, I, I notice everything, and if I can get a chance to actually find out how to respond to them, I will. Because I want to be the I want to be one of those artists who responds to everybody, and tries to answer as many questions as I can. Because I you know. I have no secrets to uh to hide with my art, so you can pump my brain for information for as much as you want. I'm happy to give out the information. So yes, um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I think I just messed up here by putting in that line. Oh well, but um, yes, please, please, please subscribe. Um, I'll be doing all sorts of videos like this and you know, other stuff that comes to my head. I'm thinking about doing some vlog posts. But yes, yeah, just I'd really appreciate it if you if people subscribe, comment, let tell me if I'm you know inspiring you to do something. Insp you know, if you've learnt something, if I've inspired you to pick up a pencil or a pen to draw something, that will give my life a whole lot of happiness and meaning because you know the whole point of life is to inspire people and make them feel inspired and and to give something to the world but there you go that my friends is me drawing a swan spade thank you very much for watching subscribe like share it around if you didn't like it, dislike it, but I haven't seen any dislikes yet, so yay for that. And I will uh, see you next time. So thank you for watching, and have a great day, have a great night, have, have a great art session, have a great whatever you're doing. Just thank you for watching. Toodaloo.